I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adore dip it! This is a test. Partly of my audio. But this is also a test of a theory I have. Oh, I should tell you, we're building a horse track on Fault Symmetry's Patreon server. And this is, I'm starting my part. I got really lucky in that I'm on a hillside where there's some really cool caves. So I'm using the caves as part of my horse track run. People have to go through the caves. I've had an idea. You know how much I love UHC, right? Trying to learn the tactics and how to use things well and efficiently. This is a temporary bridge. Whoever gets this section is supposed to build up the bridge. If nobody takes this section, I will. Yeah, I need to get someplace safe before I show you my armor and gear and whatnot. Most of it was gifts. I don't... I'm not even on my sword. One... Now, one of the things is that when I move, I'm afraid that the cord from my headset is rubbing against my shoulder and neck and might be making noise in the audio. I don't know what to do about that except bite the bullet and buy a cordless headset. That might be a thing I have to do. Of course, that depends on whether I have a USB port that still functions well enough since the rain damage to be able to have um, a consistent and reliable audio jack for the USB port because that's how the uh, headset would communicate with the computer. Yike. It's very bumpy out here. I should have gone another way. Oh, this is... Uh, Remico marked out the track. He's uh, false's admin and does a lot of stuff. He even runs a separate server that we play UHC on and when we're not using it for UHC or mini games uh, we use it for a creative server Faults has several copies and pastes of schematics of her spawn house on Hermitcraft and some of us are playing around with that and some of us are playing around with other stuff as well so having a creative server is really handy I wish we had world edit on it that's a hint even if it was just, you know, not very fancy world edit, enough to mm, copy and paste a little bit and stuff, that would help a lot. So this is New Spawn. The track is in New, well, on the edge of New Spawn. You can see how laggy I am, but it's not bad connection today, considering that I am recording. I'm just going to go through this portal. But I'm going to take my mule on a lead because there's a duplication glitch or an intentional so I guess it's not a glitch that when you go through a portal because the leads snap off they duplicate see now there's two where there was one it's a lot handier than slime balls and spider string I have oh yeah okay so this is the nether hub for new spawn I'm going to go to my house. Now, which portal is me? It has red. Oh, it's this one. Okay, might as well duplicate some more leads while I'm at it. The only thing is, we have to keep the roof low. So, Because one time I came in here, I came in from that tunnel. And there was a gas standing right here shooting at me. So, we have to keep the roof low to keep the gas from spawning. Um, but it does mean every time I get off my mule, I bump my head. Okay, so this is my... There's a lot of portals in New Spawn, so that's not even a problem. E, and, of course, here's my southwestern house thing that I was working on. It's still not quite done. There's a few details I'd like to add. Are these sheep? No. What is this? It says... There's a hole in the ground. It says... Cave spiders. Oh, my gosh. There's an abandoned mine shaft down here. Well, heck yeah. Let's see if I got anything in here I need. What's that? Polished diorite. That should not be here. Snowballs should not be down here. Why are there snowballs? So I've been doing a little work on the place. I fenced in the backyard. I uh, Let's see. What else? Oh, I've been putting up these little houses for like garden sheds and stuff. Storage. Outdoor storage for things that I do outdoors a lot. 
All these are bushes with jack-o'-lanterns under them to help light the place because I hate torches. This goes directly underneath the house and I lit it with some sunlight as well as jack-o'-lanterns just because. And oh yeah, I went to the jungle and got some jungle trees and I hate the jungle because I'm very laggy. So I'm harvesting my own jungle trees. I won't do it right now on camera, but um, just because I like the jungle wood like on top of these guys and so on. The pinkish cast of the jungle wood just looks really good with this hardened clay, I think. Better than like birch or oak or whatever. I mean, I used birch and oak and spruce on the house, on the main building. But these little outbuildings, I think I'm going to use more jungle wood and stuff. I'm stuck between two trees, aren't I? Because I know that you can't ride a mule in a one block space, so I did that. Alright, so it's a very simple wall. I just wanted to try to keep creepers out because, you know, creepers. We don't have, um, I forgot to turn my chat off. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't have griefer, mob griefing off. Which is only fair, as vanilla as it can be is a good thing, I think. Oh wait, I didn't check to see if there's anything in my mule I need. Um, I could use the baked potatoes, the leads go in the mule. I'm gonna leave the carrots there. Oh, I finally got some cats. I was down in my basement, which is here. My back door. Um, oops. I was down in my basement, see this is where I'm building the bathroom. And uh, I was uh, digging out. I'll show you where I was digging. This is mostly to mine resources, but it's also a good place to put all the cluttery looking storage. I put a golem in here. This goes all the way down to bedrock. So see this is where I put the glass in up top. So now sunlight shines all the way down to bedrock. So I was down here working and digging out. You see I've got this back corner here yet to dig out. before. It, this is the exact proportions of my plot, of my spawn house and stuff. And all of a sudden, Ocelot started appearing. Fault symmetry was online. See, this whole corner needs to be dug out. This is a very deep cavern. And apparently, if I go this way, I will find the abandoned mine shaft, which, you know, I love them. So all these Ocelots started appearing, and I did have some raw fish, and then magically a stack of raw fish appeared. This is the first cat that I tamed. I haven't had cats in Minecraft in about three years. They're just, it's too hard for me to go to jungles. It's too hard for me to fish enough fish because I have to fish old school. I don't use automatic farmer farms and stuff. So there was about a half a dozen cats in here, maybe more. And a stack of fish plus my fish. And so I um, got everybody tamed. And so now I have cats in my house for the first time in a very long time, including a Siamese, I'm proud to say. I haven't had a Siamese cat in a long, long time. Okay, that's all the food we've got. I have too many animals here. I've got to take some of these animals to uh, other places and bases and spaces. You're taking up too much room. I don't know why I have snowballs. What's this? Polished eye right. I should have gone downstairs. I've been thinking about um, UHC. You know, one of the reasons I love to play uh, bingo is because I'm learning UHC tactics. Now, I love servers because servers, some of the servers I was playing on had special things so that if you died, you respawned right where you were, uh, or you didn't lose your inventory or something, you know. So it made it a lot less scary for me to go to scary places and mine or, you know, go to the nether or the whatever. I don't mean to be judgmental, but it's true. It makes you soft because things are easy. It's easy to play the game like that. I don't know if I, I guess I should put the saddles outside, huh? And this belongs in my magic. Yeah. All right, I'm happier with Oh, look, I want you to see this. These were gifts from somebody early on. Isn't that cool? That's why those diamonds don't stack with those. <clears throat> so I can never use those diamonds, of course. So you get a little soft because things get a little easy. I thank those servers for making things easier for me so that I, I didn't feel so insecure about getting into combat and stuff. But it did make me a little soft because it was easy. Look at my armor. 
Look how good this is. These were gift armors and I added the enchantments to everything except these boots. Now these boots are very important for the community projects I'm working on. I have no problem with wearing these when I'm working on community projects. None. Because it's for the whole community, not just for me. But this stuff, I didn't earn these diamonds. And the way I got the uh, enchantments on them was from... I can take these because these came from a skeleton farm. But the way I got the enchantments on them was um, from the pig farm. Uh, we have a zombie pigman farm which is really nice to have. You can get a lot of levels very quickly. But I feel like I didn't earn these legit. I enchanted these books myself. I can use these books and I will. But a lot of this stuff I didn't earn it legit. I, I, it was It's too OP. I didn't get the diamonds. I didn't... Whoops. Oh no. Really? Golly. And it may, I think it's making me soft, like I expect to be able to survive things that I really shouldn't be able to survive. You know what I mean? How am I going to get good at UHC, this is my point, how am I going to get good at UHC if I have OP stuff that lets me think that I can get away with things that you wouldn't be able to get away with? So my thinking is that if I'm going to have stuff I need to earn it. These are from Skeleton Spawners. I have no problem with using these at all. I need to earn things the way you earn them in UHC, which is the hard way. Now, I don't know if this will work on this server. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of community projects and stuff like that. Um, and let's see, how many levels will this take? Fine. So it looks to me like it would be smarter for me to play the game legit. I Again, I have no problem using things like uh, mob spawners and stuff to get XP. Even up at the pigman farm, although I didn't build the pigman farm, if I'm working on projects for uh, the community, I have no problem using that stuff. Uh, what do I, else do I need? I need to fix my pants. What is this? Protection one? What if I combined them? Probably wouldn't get much, right? Well, it's worth a try. So I think I need to start over on this server without... Yeah, I don't have enough XP, so I need to kill things. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about, see? Uh, or harvest stuff, or I need to do something to earn XP. Where's that hat I just fixed? So I want to start over in this game more legit. Now I'm working on a community project you saw, the horse track. I could probably take my OP armor out there and not feel bad about it because I'm it's a community project. But for my own stuff, like my personal builds and whatnot, I don't feel good about using stuff that I haven't earned. Like when I go caving. I think that when I'm doing stuff for myself, like I'm real tempted to go down there right now and go look at that abandoned mine shaft. Obviously somebody's been down there. Obviously somebody lit it up, so on. Um, so it's pretty much started. But you know, people, they mine the fancy schmancy stuff and they don't really mind so much the um, basic rudimentary things like coal, iron. We sort of have an iron farm here. One of them doesn't work very well. Uh, something happened with the villagers. A couple other people have private ones that I have permission to use, but I don't much because, let's face it, they need their own iron and I don't want to take their stuff. Um, so I mine and smelt a lot of iron when I'm on site to use on the project I'm working on. But I haven't done much caving because I've been so busy with building. So other people get the diamonds pretty much and maybe some of the gold, although not really anymore because we have the pigman farm. 
and I um, get whatever's left over, the redstone, even lapis, which is really kind of surprising because we all need lapis for enchanting, right? So I'm finding their leftovers, basically, even in old community mines that aren't, um, oh, this is where I want to go. Um, even in old community mines that people say are tapped out and they're not using anymore, I'll go behind them in the tunnels and I'll see where the tunnels ended or something like that. And I'll, uh, and like, you know, me digging behind gravel, I'm always finding stuff behind gravel. So I find stuff that they didn't know was there. I hear feet. Do you see a creeper? Is that me? Could have been me, I guess. Yeah, I guess when I turn around, I make footsteps. Yeah. Well, that's creepy as all get out, isn't it? Look at all the wood I've got in here. Oh, yeah, for my project with the, um, building the outbuildings out here. Okay, so I'm thinking that I could stand to enchant some stuff. That wasn't me. I'm not standing on something that makes that sound. What's making that sound? Chickens don't sound like that when they walk, do they? I know there's not a creeper down there. I know there's not a creeper in here behind my retaining wall either. Well, whatever. I'm going to go see, check out that cave spider spawner now. So, I don't think I'm going to learn good habits as long as I can do all this um, slick stuff, you know. I don't know how dangerous it is down here. What armor am I wearing? Hey, I don't have a chest on. Oh, I could have. So, I think it's time for me to start over. I want to learn good t habits and, you know, do the tactics right. I don't know. Wow, this is really down here, isn't it? Ooh, coal. See what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, this is nice. What does this say? Splash pots. Please replace. What kind of splash pots are they using? Damage. Instant damage. Oh, good. Well, I won't be hurting for wool. Close the gate with a lever and then hit the button. Then they will be one hit kills. Close the gate with the lever. Hit what button? Oh, I killed him. Noob made it. I like Noob. Noob's a very nice person. Do I hit him from there? I don't get where I'm supposed to hit him from. I've seen this design. I think this is Tinswell Chef used this on his channel. Okay, so you let him collect in there then they will be one hit kills close this gate with a lever then hit the button okay so the ones that are in there aha so it is like that design I don't I'm not saying that it's tinfoil chef's design but he used it I could shouldn't have done that I'm going to hit them with spider eyes. So the lever keeps them from coming in here. Okay, there's a gate. And it keeps them from coming in here. You let them all collect in here. Then you hit the lever to close the gate back there so more can't come in. And then you squash them so they're one hit kills. And then you kill them all. And then you open the lever to let more in. Otherwise, the ones that come in won't be one hit kills. That's how this works. Okay, so that's closed. Let's see, that one was already pre-squashed. And now I should be able to pop them. Yeah. So that's just my thinking on the subject. I'm not sure that I'm right. But it seems to me that I would be a lot better off and learn a lot more if I, um... Played the game tactically old style without using um, the benefit of too much fancy technological stuff and too
too many goodies, you know? But I think I need to play the game old school. Because I don't think I'm ever going to get good at this game. I mean for UHC, PvP, that kind of stuff. If I don't get in good habits. Uh, good on Noobstein for making this. He's a real good contraption maker. He hasn't been playing this game very long. But he knows how to play it. He probably owns every item in the game now. And plenty of them. Because he's made farms and traps and contraptions all over this game. So that's my thinking. Let me know what you think. If I should play this with all the goodies and bells and whistles. Or if I should play this kind of old school. And uh, develop good habits for combat and stuff. I think I should develop good habits for combat and stuff. There's Toast. I don't know where the other rabbit is. So that's me. And that's Fault Symmetry's Patreon server. Thanks for watching. I'd hug you but my arms don't bend. Bye. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and the dog gets it!